Right, Sean, Katie, Katie, Sean. Katie, have you ever heard of a man called Christopher Reeve? Mm -hmm. Don't look at the title, mm -hmm. which you already have. Mm -hmm. Do you know who Christopher Reeve is? Mm -hmm. Go on then. Don't look at the title! Uh, I don't know. No, but, no, but I do, but I don't. I know the name. You know the name? Mm -hmm. Right, okay, so. I don't know the face. If you go off the title, Christopher Reeve was arguably the most famous Superman. Oh, so he's not a director? No. Okay. He was, he was the actor who played the sort of 1980s Superman. Essentially gave Superman the sort of... I don't even call it, the sort of... He's the Superman that all Supermen have tried to be like uh, at this point. Is he the one that went around the Earth in turn by time? Yeah. Not a very good moment. Don't care what anyone uh, says. Is um, he the one that got a bit of um, kryptonite in him? No... But in that film, the guy who was playing Superman in that film was made to look like Christopher Reeve. Because oh. it was supposed to link into Christopher Reeve. He's the one that goes into the telephone box, sort of spins. Oh no, he goes into the telephone box, turns, gets changed, comes out, turns into Superman. He also goes into a, a spinning door, runs around a couple of times, comes back out with Superman. Mm -hmm. um, but he had quite a tragic story, Christopher Reeve. At some point, I think he fell off a horse, I think, and uh, ended up paralysed. Um, oh. really, he did have a really sad story. So it looks like they're, good at, they're making a film actually about him, so I suppose we'll watch. I'll probably tell you more than I can about him, because I'm not, I'm not an expert in Christopher Reeve. Uh, yeah, let's watch. He did do other films, but his most famous role was Superman. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's looking for a hero. I am not a hero. That was a part. I played the part. I'm not that man. Oh, one of the best soundtracks of all time. Hands down, he was Superman from day one. I realized that if I could pull off this part, it would change my life. John Houseman said, Mr. Reeve, it is very important to become a serious classical actor. Unless, of course, they offer you a load of money to do something else. <laughs> He convinced me when I first met him that he would fly. Doing things with my dad, it was all about activity and action. Riding bikes, playing soccer, skiing. My dad was very competitive and he didn't necessarily slow down. We said goodbye and he gave this wave. That was the last time I saw him on his feet. <laughs> Mr. Grieve currently has no movement or spontaneous respiration. Superman, crazy. Just that simple little thing over the horse. I'd ruined my life and everybody else's. I won't be able to ski, sail, throw a ball to Will. Won't be able to make love to Dana. Maybe we should let me go. She came flying in and she just yelled, I love you, I love you. And then she said the words to save my life. You're still you, and I love you. He and Robin were such good friends because they could match each other. Robin also had struggles that he dealt with his whole life, and I think that they both were aware of darkness. Brother Chris is fighting like crazy. When you find people who fight like that but still keep their humanity, that gives you great hope. That is tough because I can feel him, but he can't feel me. It must have been hell for my mom, too, knowing what she had lost. I felt I needed to do something, not just for myself, but for everyone else in the same condition. The fact that Superman was in a wheelchair and was willing to go public with it was huge. Help is on the way. Christopher and Dana Reeve Paralysis Act. People are literally walking because of him. What is a hero? My answer was that a hero is someone who commits a courageous action without considering the consequences. Now my definition is completely different. 
I think a hero is an ordinary individual who finds the strength to persevere and endure in spite of overwhelming obstacles. I wouldn't have missed this for the world. Sweet. Oh, it's not just lovely. lovely. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, he passed away a few years ago, I think. Um, yeah, it's a horrible story. Well, it's a, it's a, it's a story that's obviously sad, but it's also really good as well. How he was. Well, he was doing everything he, he could to help people. Um, considering he was like, he was Superman. If you ask, I mean, if you ask Dad who Superman was, Dad would say Christopher Reeve. Yeah. I don't think you've, you mustn't have seen any of his films, have you? I don't think so. No, I've seen bits. I've not, like, I don't think I've ever just sat down and just watched. Yeah. There's a lot of people who still claim that they are the best Superman films. I personally would probably say there's at least one of them that's a bit of a dud. Um, that was like down at the right end, though. Yeah, yeah. Like as far as yeah, like the film not being very good was not down to him. He was, he was. I mean, he was a brilliant Superman. Um, you know, he looks like Superman. Mm -hmm. um, he also. I think I read somewhere that he, he, he put on loads of weight so that he could be like hench and then they told him that they would just put stuff in his suit so he would look big and he wouldn't have any of it just so he was going out of his way to like mm. proper look like Superman. Glenn Close? I didn't realise they were so close. That was did a terrible point and I did not mean it. Did they act together? Not that I can think of. Maybe I'm maybe I'm stupid. I didn't know he was good friends with Robin Williams either. Mm. It's obviously sad with that as well. This might be a very sad film. I was gonna say, I, like, yeah, you could feel the emotion from it already. I would, I would absolutely sob at this. Yeah. I can already tell. Maybe we watch it <sighs> so people can see you crying your eyes out. Glenn Close is like a really big deal. Yeah. Yeah, he was very much loved. He's got a really cool bit, and I think it shows you it. Can't quite. The bit where he catches the helicopter is probably the really famous bit because he, he goes into the telephone box as far as I can remember. He gets changed into the Superman gimmick. The guy, there's a guy on the street and he goes, "Hey, cool suit, man!" And he just goes, "Excuse me." And then sort of flies up, catches the helicopter, catches Lois Lane, goes, don't worry, I got you. And she goes, oh, got me? Who's got you? And then he flies up, you know, holding the helicopter with one hand. That's cool. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I suppose this video will be quite short because we can't really, you know, dissect anything. We can't really look into, yeah. into storylines and whatever. It looks like it's going to be a sad film. Maybe we watch it, but maybe we, we let you watch the Superman films first. See what you think. Because Dad still loves the Superman films. It's got... Yeah. <sighs> What's his name? It's not Robert Lozier. Jane Hackman. It's got Jane Hackman in it. As Lex Luthor. It's also got Who's Terrence Stamp. As Jane Hackman? I don't know if I know that. I don't know if you'll know who Jane Hackman is. Okay. It's also got Terrence Stamp. You, abso you absolutely know who Terrence Stamp is. He's the English actor who got, who's got like a really deep voice. <sighs> that somehow <laughs> doesn't help don't me. don't know a film you with know. Terrence Stamp in it that you'll know, but you don't. I guarantee you know who you, he is. You know how terrible I am with names and faces. Yeah, like... How did you ever think I would get this Hold person? On. Terrence Stamp. You absolutely know who he is. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's okay, that's yeah. him as General Zod. Okay. He was the original General Zod. It's also got I can't remember where I've seen him from, but I know who he is. Yeah. Also got Marlon Brando. I know that name. 
I can't place the first. I would make a reference, but you won't get the reference either. <sighs> I'll make one laugh when you can if you. Yes. Um. That's goes, Stella. Um. Um. The Godfather. Uh, yeah. Is he small? No. Who? Which one am I thinking of? I have no idea. Get a picture of. Him. He's the Godfather. Get a picture of. Him. You haven't seen. I know you haven't seen the Godfather. I know, but, but I might have seen him. I doubt it, unless unless you've actually seen a picture of Marlon Brando. Right, okay, no, I don't know who it is. Um, that's him as the Godfather. Okay. I'll make him an offer he can with you. Okay. This is. Also goes, Stella! In another film that he did. I can't remember the name of. You probably haven't seen it. Um, but he plays uh, Jor L. Okay. Yeah, good films. From what I can remember, it's been a really long time since I've seen them. There's a few sort of silly bits in it, as you can imagine. But it was also back when sort of being a bit campish wasn't wasn't a bad thing. Mm. You know, it was Superman arguably at his best. You know, apart from you know Zack Schneider and Joss Whedon really fumbling with with their version of Superman just because they couldn't get the writing skills yeah. together. You know, the, this one it had poor written bits in it, but there was never any bad bits with Christopher Reeve. He was a really good Superman. Since um, I've only ever seen Henry Cavill as Superman, so yeah, maybe we we'll watch them. But yeah, let us know if you'd like us to watch them. Um, before watching this, I don't know when this comes out, so we'll have time. September 21st and 25th, so quite close. Um, yeah, let us know if you want us to watch this, the old Superman films. I'd like the video, subscribe, ding the bell, and I'll find upload. We upload every day. Anything else you want to say? No, 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 no. I really like the music. Oh, yeah. I've got the music straight away. Yeah. That's the music where it's like. You would you ask me to do it and I can't do it. Yeah, because it's John Williams. Yeah, Who just, and I end up turning it into Back to the Future and or no Indiana Jones. You always get Indiana Jones, you always yeah. turn Indiana Jones and uh, Superman into the same one. Back to the Future is another one where I can't do it off the top of my head, but as soon as it plays, I know I know exactly <laughs> what theme it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but in my head, I'm like, oh my god, how does it start again? And then as soon as someone yeah, it's like you're like, oh yeah yeah yeah. yeah. I've gotten all of them in my head now that I can't confuse them. But it's a bit like, you know, when you used to get old CD players and if they had a scratch on it, they would sort of not start for a second. Mm -hmm. It's a bit like that with me. I can get it, but I have to load it in my head. Yeah, you have to really think hard about it and be like... Yeah. How does yeah. the Superman theme... The Superman theme I'll always get straight away because it's probably... Is it my favourite movie soundtrack? Let's put that over Star Wars? There's more of Star Wars. There's more of if if I just if I put the Superman theme up against any one Star Wars song, mm. I'd probably choose Superman. Really? But if I had to say whole soundtracks, you Star would Wars would probably Star win. Wars. Although Actually, Indiana Future's Jones is really good. Indiana, Indiana Jones, Jones is really a really good one. Who knows? That's not what your favorite soundtrack is. Yeah. Then I, did I do the like video and all that stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Mm.